The opinions and interpretations expressed in this and other videos are that of Marty Huey and may not be representative of his colleagues and employer. The videos cover overlapping requirements of codes, standards, and regulations. Your situation will require full analysis beyond the concepts presented here. Occupant load for floor or floor area. What do we need to calculate and how do we need to calculate? Some common misunderstandings. We do not use one calculation for the entire building. We divide up the building into different areas and do the calculation for each of those areas. So drawing a simple building with a lobby, some offices, a hallway slash corridor, and a factory floor. Now we're drawing this simple building, but it could be virtually any kind of building, hospital with a corridor, patient rooms, have a waiting room, a staff gathering space, or anything like that. So our lobby, a thousand square feet, all the offices and corridor together, about 2,000 square feet, and the factory floor, let's say it's 4,000 square feet. The lobby, considered assembly space, could either be five square feet per person for standing room only, or seven square feet per person for tables and or tables and chairs. I think the argument could be had for tables and chairs at 15 square feet per person, but we're gonna stick with seven at this time. Office space falls under business, and that's 100 square feet per person. And the factory floor falls under manufacturing or assembly, and that's 200 square feet per person. So let's take the lobby at 1,000 square feet per person, divide that by seven, that equals 143 people in that lobby space that it could hold. 2,000 square feet for the offices divided by 100, that gives us 20 people. And the factory floor at 4,000 divided by 200 gives us 20 people that can be on the factory floor. Totaling that up gives 183 people in this little building. One of our next upcoming videos will be on understanding where doors need to be due to the occupant load, the number of people in the space, and how wide or how many doors do we need. This is commonly known as our exit inches required. Please post or email comments on what you've seen. Suggestions for future topics are also welcome. Marty enjoys learning from the experience of others. More videos will be added, which can be found at martyhuey.com.